This is Dr. Ed Calfan. I will be presenting a video on arthroscopic meniscus repair. Please be advised, this video contains graphic surgical images. This is a view of a torn medial meniscus. The meniscus is a shock absorbing cartilage in the knee. The probe is within the tear. This is an unstable tear occurring at the periphery or outer portion of the meniscus where there is a blood supply. Most of the meniscus does not have a blood supply. Only the outer 20 to 30 percent of the meniscus has a blood supply that allows tears to heal once they've been repaired. Here a shaver is creating more bleeding at the edges of the tear to help stimulate a better healing response. This is an important part of the procedure. The more bleeding there is from the edges of the tear, the higher the healing rate can be. Repairing the meniscus cartilage is important. It helps retain the shock absorber in the knee and helps minimize the arthritic problems that may develop if a portion of the meniscus is removed. Here a meniscus suture device is introduced into the meniscus. One limb of the suture is brought across the tear and the other limb of the suture will be used to go across the tear at a different position. A sliding knot allows us to compress the edges of the tear together by tightening the suture down. A second meniscal suture device is then implanted. This is placed about four to five millimeters away from the previous suture. The second limb of the suture is then passed. The repair is tidied, so there's equal tension on the loops as the sliding knot is pulled down. This compresses the edges of the tear very close together. The suture is cut short and the meniscus repair is completed. We then check the repair for stability with this probe and find that it has very good stability. 